What's going on guys? I consider myself a jack of all trades, but my name is Jeff. So welcome back to Jeff of all trades. Today we're going to be going over the Beretta 92 FS. We're going to go over how to take it apart, the oil points for this weapon, and how to put it back together. Remember, if you like what you see here today, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Let's not waste any time and let's get right into it. So getting right into this teardown, the first thing you want to do before you tear down any weapon is of course ensure that it is cleared and emptied. To do that with the Beretta, press this magazine release, the magazine will slide out the bottom, remove that completely, slide the slide back, and ensure the chamber is completely empty. After you've done that, we're ready for the first step. First thing you want to do is press this button on the right hand side of the weapon. When you press this, it'll push this pin out right here and make this lever able to swing 90 degrees. So if you try to pull this lever down right now, nothing will happen. If you depress that button on this side, at the same time of swinging this lever, it'll actually release the slide. So like a lot of other weapons, you need to pull them back a little bit or pull them back all the way and put them in the slide position. This gun will work with any of those methods, but you don't need to do any of them. You simply depress that button, hold the slide because it will slide forward, and pull this slide down, and there you go. Once that swing arm is out of the way, that slide will pop right off. You also don't need to depress the trigger because as long as the hammer is in the front position, you're good to go. Remove the slide from the frame of the gun. Step two. We need to take out the recoil spring and the spring guide. Simply give pressure at the back of the spring and release it. This has a lot more pressure. Pull that out. Make sure you're holding on to it when you pull it out or this spring is going to send this uh, uh, spring guide all over the place. You can slide that spring off of the spring guide if you need to. I'm going to because we're going through the oil points as well today. And now to pull the barrel out. It won't just pop up, you actually need to depress this in the back, and that'll release your barrel. It'll slide up and straight out. And that is your basic field stripping and taking apart of the Beretta 92FS. Next we want to go over the oil points. With this gun, I have wiped down all the oil already, so you can really see these wear marks. And if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that one of my key go-to points is where you can see wear marks. There we go. Where you can see any wear marks on the weapon is where you're going to want to put some oil. Because that means there's a lot of metal on metal touching, a lot of rubbing going on. So that's where you want a lot of oil to be to make it as frictionless as possible. So we're going to be focused on that a lot today because this gun is, like I said, my first pistol I've ever owned. So it has a lot of wear marks. So that's going to be a good guide. If this is your first gun or a gun that you don't use too frequently, just follow my along with my procedure here and you can't go wrong. As always, when we do this, we're going to be using one drop only. Today we're using our Hops number 9 lubricating oil. First thing I want to do is pick up this frame and I want to put a little bit on these rails here, here, and then a little bit back in here. Tip it upside down and just let one drop fall onto these rails. Rub it in. Use a microfiber cloth. I don't like to use too much oil. Some people like to make them dripping wet. I feel like the more oil you use, the more debris, dust, grime, everything else can get caught up in it. So I like to wipe off the oil as I'm going and not keep a ton of it on the weapon itself. Just enough to make everything sliding as clean as possible. I'm also going to take another dot and put it right on the bottom of these rails here. And take your cloth, go ahead and rub it into place. And you can actually see how shiny the metal is 
of where the oil has been rubbed on. That's all you need. On this side, do the same thing. Just one dot to the outside. Go ahead and rub it on. Right in here, where the barrel sits, you see all that shiny metal in there. Then down in this reservoir here, you want to get one drop there. And you can tell how shiny and how worn away this metal is. That doesn't mean there's anything particularly wrong with the gun. That doesn't mean that there's anything rubbing where it's not supposed to. That's just the paint wearing off on this gun. And that means everything's working exactly how it's supposed to. But for everything to continue functioning how it's supposed to, you want to make sure you keep it well lubricated. And that's all for the frame. The next step, which some people don't do, I like to do it personally because it is a moving part. I like to take the recoil spring, uh, the spring guide. Since that spring comes right off, you just take one drop, slide it down on there. You can see that on there. Just go ahead and rub it in. Nice and easy. Nothing too complicated or complex about that. No need to lubricate the spring since the spring is riding right on this guide here. So you can just slide that spring right back on and you're good to go. My next part is the barrel. I always like to put oil right on the barrel itself. Again, one drop. And then just take your finger. You can use your finger, a cloth, microfiber towel, whatever you feel the need. Rub it right in all the way around that barrel. This barrel, when it's going in and out of the slide, is rubbing constantly, so you want to make sure that that's well oiled. And we are going to rub this off. And the next point I want to do is this wear area right in here, where your spring sits. You can see how shiny that is. Put a little bit on there. And then right there. And then just take one of your towels. And go ahead and wipe it off. Now I'm not pushing, putting much pressure on this towel. I'm simply getting the excess off. The oil is remaining on these parts of the gun as you oil them. So you don't need to worry about scrubbing them clean. You're not trying to get all of the oil off. It's nothing uh, like you're trying to clean the weapon. This is just getting the excess off so we don't have all that extra debris and uh, dust and everything else settling into the gun, making it harder to clean in the future. You can even see right here, I've left a little bit of oil right here, the towel's down, I'm done. A little bit of oil here, a little bit of excess in this area here, but nothing's pooling up. This gun isn't dripping with oil, and that's exactly what we want. We want it just to be lubricated enough that these moving parts are gonna move as freely as possible. Also, if you do notice that this gun is dry, um, you know, that there's no dirt or anything in it, this was previously cleaned before I started this video, and I wiped all of the oil off of it so you could get a good idea of where these oil points are and where you need to focus your attention. So this is not normally how I run my weapons, not this dry. Uh, it is previously cleaned before this video, so just a little heads up there. Next, what I want to do, again, it's, it's fairly simple, but you can see the wear marks right here. I'm going to put a little bit of oil there. Again, one drop. I'm not squeezing the bottle. I'm flipping it upside down and waiting for just one drop to fall. Then you rub it in. Use a little bit of access for this rail here. You can see that wear and tear on there. I mean, that's, that's literally as little as it takes. And you are using so little oil. And on top of that, you're going to be wiping it off with a cloth. Just to goes, goes to show you how little you should be using in this process. And of course... I can get a good angle on it. You want to be getting in these rails here. These rails in the slide are the same rails from the frame that we oiled earlier, but that's exactly where this is going to go and where this is going to slide every time you chamber a new round, every time you pull the trigger and a new bullet goes into the barrel. That's exactly where this is going to slide. It's going to get the most amount of use, so we want to make sure that this is well oiled and cleaned as well. Again, it's no surprise. One drop in there, one drop up here, and to save time, I'm just going to do it on the other side. You're going to mirror it the same way, one drop there, one drop in the back, 
And right now I'm going to be using my microfiber towel to rub this all in. You can use a Q-tip if you want to. Um, you can use some of those square cotton swabs if you have those. I do not have any of those right now. Uh, I'm just using this microfiber towel because it's a lot more efficient, I feel. Um, I don't need to be as detail-oriented with using a cotton swab to make sure all of it's off. It's As I keep saying, it's not a good thing to have too much oil on it. Um, but I don't think I need to be as diligent as using a cotton swab. And if you fold up that towel, you can really get into those grooves very nicely. You can see there's no excess oil on these rails. Just a nice sheen to them. Then on this side as well, there's no pooling. There's no puddles of any sort. And that means you did a good job rubbing it all in. But you can also see what we were talking about before. That shiny metal, that that reflection right in here on that rail that's all you want to see doesn't have to be anything too major and that is the disassembly and the oil points for your Beretta 92 FS Now putting it back together is just as simple as taking it apart. First grab your slide, put that top side down into your hand. The first thing you want to grab is going to be the barrel. Go ahead and slide that barrel into the biggest hole in the bottom of your slide. Slide it forward and then gently push until it drops into place. You want to make sure these wings, I don't know if you can see them, I push up there maybe you see that see these wings here and here there is a recess right here where those need to drop into when you put the barrel in make sure those drop into that point into those points if they're sitting if it's sitting like this and you can't push it in anymore just push up a little bit on the barrel on this side it could be getting caught on that lip and it'll drop right into place and sit exactly where it's supposed to. Just like that. That's what it looks like when the barrel is seated correctly. The next thing you want to do is insert the spring and the spring guide. You want to put the spring in first and the fat end of the spring guide should be towards the back of the pistol. So insert that spring into this smaller hole and just go ahead and give it pressure now when you're doing this if i can hold this correctly you can see you're feeding the spring guide into the spring that spring guide needs to go into that small hole when you're doing so so it could take a little bit maybe a little bit of muscle memory to do that but it'll slide directly into that hole at the same time it's sliding into that hole you need the spring and the spring guide to seat right here on the barrel. So you wanna slide that spring and spring guide into place. Once it's in all the way, go ahead and give a little bit pressure down and make sure it's seated on that barrel. And that's how you want it to look. Everything's nice and tight. Barrel is seated correctly. Your spring and spring guide are put into place. Next thing is to simply grab the frame of the gun, line up your rails here with the indentations on the slide itself. You can see these here and here. And you want to line up these slides that we oiled earlier right there. It slides on that simple. All the way back, no issues. And we'll slide it back until everything's in place. You don't need to press down that button in the back anymore. Pull it back, flip it into place, and that locks everything. And the gun is completely back together. At this time, I like to take my cloth, rub the excess oil off the top, and you're left with a well-oiled Beretta 92. And there you have it. Everything you need to know about how to take apart your Beretta, the oil points for it, 
and then how to put it all back together. Make sure you like this video, subscribe if you're not already, and of course, be safe. I'll see you in the next one.